um, what I like about this is that you can come over here, right, to a trade, and let's say that um, you want to, let me see, Netflix is all the rage, NVIDIA is all the rage, actually. Let me do something like NVIDIA. Let me look at it. Of course, we are on a Saturday, so there is no market movement right now. Um, and, okay, let's actually, I think I would have to go to, uh, sorry, to charts or tools. I guess it doesn't matter, really. Right? Uh, I don't use it to, for trading. Um, sorry, kind of fumbling through here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's say that we want to buy NVIDIA shares, right? Let's forget about options for now. And, you know, I could go down here and bring up the order ticket thing, or the order entry thing. Uh, but I could also just, like, come over here, right, and uh, basically uh, just buy it from here uh, by clicking buy or sell. Right? By, sorry, by clicking the price. Or well, Actually, I don't know if I could pretty much click anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, except there, right? Yeah, you can pretty much click anywhere. You can do it on a chart, etc. Um, I think you can also do it by. There's some side menus down here that can that are really cool. I think they shop. They pop up with the yeah. This is but this is market. <clears throat> but here it is. Here, these big button ones. No, that's not it. The dashboard, possibly. There we go. All right, so you can be like looking at look here. We were looking at Nvidia, not Apple. Although Apple's pretty nice too. Um, right, so there's the five day, five minute on NVIDIA. This is when they reported earnings and it just like skyrocketed and then lost like half of the, you know, value that it rocketed that one day. Um, anyway, so you, you can buy or sell from here. But uh, we were back here, right? So we were trading and we said, okay, I want to buy this. Okay, now this is really cool because you can buy, all right, you can buy with an OCO bracket. So that, what that means is that if you don't have time to be glued to your screen, you can go ahead and say, okay, I want to buy, and that's the green line. You're buying 100 shares of, in this case, uh, are we on, yeah, we're on NVIDIA. Okay. Only if it hits 390 spot 36. All right. That's perfect. So that means that whenever this thing breaks through 390 or what breaks out over it, or two, sorry. So when this thing reaches 390.36, this is going to go ahead and hit the buy order but, or the buy button for you, and it's going to get you 100 shares, okay? So you're in. and But it's also going to do something else for you. It's going to create this OCO bracket. OCO stands for order cancels the other. Well, sorry, it stands for one cancels the other, right? One order cancels the other order. Okay, so basically you're in for the trade, and then... Either this one or this one is going to get you out of the trade, okay? And what is that? Well, that's very simple. If it reaches 391.36, then you're out at market, you know, at whatever 391.36. Whenever it hits 391.36, then it'll hit a market order for that price. Of course, you know that a market order doesn't get you out at exactly that price. It may hit 391.36 and then immediately drop back down. So if the, or if the order, you know, has to get in line... You might end up getting it at 391.30, 391.00. You, know, uh, you know, it could be whatever. It could be 390. It could be 300. You know, it could drop quite fast from the 391.36. So you could do it market. Um, but basically, it'll be 391.36, or it hits. It sets a floor for you. It immediately says, "Okay, we entered at 390. We would love to get out at 391." But you know what? If it hits 389, I'm out. You know, I don't want to lose any more than this. That's perfect. That's fine too. So this is a very handy way to enter an order because you are setting yourself up for, um, you know, the perfect risk management scenario. We were talking about this in another video, which I will link to here as well. There's actually two of them, but I don't know if I can link to two videos. Um, so when you get in, you know exactly what you're going to get out at. Let me see if I had the, no, I thought I had Excel open. Let me go ahead and see if I can open. All right. Um, I was reviewing this, by the way, and I, I found this new chart type on Excel, which is waterfall. And uh, this is basically a chart of my uh, gains and losses 
uh, from when I started trading. And I'm going to review this at some point with y'all. Uh, this was a big drop because I took um, some very bad uh, investment uh, signal or, or buy signals here. Uh, they Actually, they weren't buy signals from the X-Trades analyst. And I, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, basically I bought, I believe it was some Tesla contracts might have been two at most because I never buy anything more than you know three or five unless they're like really cheap and Tesla obviously as you know is not cheap but uh, this was a big uh, a big loss uh, from Tesla contracts and then after that I've been basically you know just recovering recovering and I'm up uh, somewhat so at least you know I'm on the positive okay so let's go ahead and, and, and do it um, and, and review what I was talking about so you enter at 39036 which is here this is your entry you enter at 39036 and you say I want my target price target first price target to be 39136 right okay perfect so that means that you're gonna be um, that you're going to be making or shooting for, all right? Oh, what did I do wrong? Security warning. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know what I did wrong. No, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, so 2%. I mean, 0.2%. Okay, so if I decide to go in and at 390.36 and exit at 391.36, we're talking about a 0.3% gain, right? And if we exit, right, so my stop loss, we'll go back over here, we said it was 389.36. Okay, then that means <clears throat> that we're willing to lose. Sorry. It looks like I don't know how to use Excel very well. All right, 0.3%. Okay, so what we're doing here is that we're saying. I'm willing to make as much as I'm willing to lose on this trade. Okay. If you do that once and you lose, then you've lost 0.3%. If you do that again on a, on a separate trade and you win, and it, you know it was the same setup, 0.3%, then you know then you're even. You know you're even, Steven. You lost 0.3, you gained 0.3. All right, that's great. But normally, and this is called a one to one. So what you want to do is you don't want to do a one to one. You usually want to make this a little bit higher so that you might not win every time, which you definitely won't, but you won't lose as much as you will win. So if you change the say to 39236, okay, that means that it's almost 0.6%. So it's almost two to one, right? So that mean that means that if you lose, let's say that you put on three trades one two or one two trades okay let's say that you put on two trades and the first one you lose 0.3 right and then the second one you actually win and you win 0.5 right so you ended up winning 0.2 right if this were back to 391.36 right which is even steven or one to one that means that, of course, sorry, that you would be even Steven because you would lose as much as you would win every time you won or lost. What you definitely don't want to do is you don't want to say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and you know, I'm really worried, so I'm only going to go to 391.36, but I, uh, I don't want to get out, so I'm going to go 388.36. 388.36 is going to be obviously 0.5 that's backwards so that means that you when you lose you're going to lose 0.5 and when you win you're going to only going to make 0.3 so in the end you're still going to be down all right so that's 
a little bit of risk ma management math. Oh, sorry, a little bit of risk management math right there. But that's basically the gist of it. Okay, so that is what we're looking at with this kind of stock order. Okay, so that's one thing you want to be be able to you know get in and get out. Um, and that's if you want to do you know one order cancels the other. Uh, you can also simply do. Let me go ahead and delete this. All right, and let's go ahead and buy it again. We're going to buy custom, of course. Um, I believe that is the OCO bracket, right? Sometimes you want to set it, and you don't. I, so the difference was okay. So here's the difference. This is if when I'm using when I'm using stocks. The name of the game is a little bit different than the one I'm using options. Obviously, you're going to know this because stocks don't have the pressure, added pressure of time, right? Expiration. So with stocks, this might not be something that you want to do because you don't want to exit it. You don't want a stop loss. You just want, you know, to be able to exit as soon as you get out, right? So then you would just come down here and then you delete this, right? Delete that, and you're. Oop, don't know why I did that. And then you're just left with, you know, as soon as I enter the order, I'm going to go ahead and exit it 0.3% later. All right. And this is also this is awesome because this means that you enter it, and you can do really small percentage gains on this thing. You could, you know, do well 0.3%. It's kind of ridiculous, but you could do like a 5% gain. You could go ahead and say, okay, so I'm going to go up to 394 or something like that, which actually I should have calculated over here. Let's say 394.36, right? All right, so that's like a 1% gain. All right, that's fine. That's 1% 1 is better than nothing. You could get out at 1%. And if you just like automate this and have this, you know, go in and out, in and out, and do that 10 times during a day, then, you know, you've got some nice money there. All right, so the whole point of going through the this feature uh, is that for those of you, this will work out if you don't have the time to be glued to the screen once a buy signal has been alerted to and you decided you decided that you wanted to enter it, then this is perfect. Um, and it, it'll work uh, whether you use it with the OCO or with just the conditional, you know, just the second conditional. You get in and then you get out on the condition that it reaches, you know, whatever that limit, because, you know, sometimes you want to do that, you know, when, it, when it's a long-term stock, you know, you might not want to get out of it so quickly, because you know that eventually, something like NVIDIA, it's just going to keep ramping up, you know, it's just going to keep going, it, it might hit, you know, you know, it might, might hit a new bottom right now, but, you know, a month or two down the line, it's going to, you know, be skyrocketing like AMD did. Actually, I wanted to look at the AMD chart because that was just amazing, but I'll do that later. Okay, so this is a really neat feature on Thinkorswim, and you can do this on the mobile too. I'm going to throw a, uh, an image right here of how you do that. It's a little bit weirder, I guess, on the phone, but it works. Okay, so you select the number of shares. I'm just going to do one. Uh, and then you come down here to the different kinds of orders. Um, you have day orders, limit orders, stop orders, and then down here, you can see that there's an option for create advanced order. And here you go. Here's your OCO. So we're going to do the one share at 34.85 OCO for C Web, and that's it. Basically, you add the cell as well, and you're done with your OCO order. So you're in and, in and out, buy and sell, and that's pretty much it. You just hit send and you're ready. And you can add as many conditions as you want.